It was disappointment on Saturday for Michelle Watterson in the UFC on ESPN plus 19 main event loses a lopsided unanimous decision to Yoannian Jacek in Tampa, Florida. Now it really remains to be seen what the future holds for Michelle Watterson. She was very, very emotional after this fight. It feels like it was a squandered opportunity in her career. She had done everything she needed to get herself in position for a title shot, but could not get over that hump in one of the best fighters in the history of this weight class and Jan Jacek, but I don't necessarily think this is the end of the road for Michelle. She is still very much a top contender at this weight class. A couple more wins and I could see her being right back in the spot once again, a title eliminator of sort, but it's definitely gonna take a little bit of work. She needs to win one or two fights and if you're her, you start with someone who's ranked in this weight class and I think a matchup with Alexa Grosso makes a lot of sense for her. That is a compelling fight. Grosso, of course, coming off a loss of her own, but she is very talented in this division, had a lot of high hopes placed on her. Sometimes she's lived up to them when she steps in the cage, other times not, but she is very talented still, and I think a matchup with Watterson would kind of decide who still has life in terms of building themselves up as a top strawweight contender. I imagine Watterson's going to need some time off after this fight. Takes a lot of damage at the hands, knees, elbows, and feet of Yen Jacek over the course of five rounds. Very upset after the loss, understandably so, but as I said, I think she has the ability and the time to rebound in this fight. She just needs to accept that probably going to be fighting down in the rankings, going to have to prove herself once again that she is a legit top contender here, and I think Grosso is a perfect matchup 